Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, and we are on August 1st, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Volcanic Activity Report and as well Planetary Positioning for Week 30, 2021. I'm going to start out here looking at the positioning of all of our planets in our solar system. Right now we have Mercury on the other side of the sun, and we are in retrograde with Saturn. So we have an alignment right now with Earth and the Sun and Saturn. And we are getting ready to do a retrograde with Jupiter as well coming up. Just looking at all of our planets right now and in the coming days, you're going to see Earth turn away from Saturn and then into Jupiter by the second week of August. Looks like August 20th will be our peak. So heads up and watch for increased seismicity across the planet as we always do expect it. And then later on in September, once we leave retrograde with Jupiter, we do have Uranus to deal with. And that will definitely cause some effects as well as we edge closer and alone there with Uranus. And Venus and coupled right in behind us, getting ready for retrograde come November. So that is our planets right now for week 30 and as well the next 30 to 60 days. But I will be giving now a weekly update, volcano activity report, and I'm going to include planetary positioning of our solar system. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are, please smash that like button and share with your friends and family from across the world. So we are currently looking at 43 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. And there are discrepancies in the numbers. We have lower numbers here with volcano discovery. We're going to start out here with the Great Sitkin Volcano, who is showing activity. That's right. The Great Sitkin is awake and showing activity, not just signs of life, but activity at the Great Sitkin. And we're seeing all of those earthquakes through Alaska recently. Uh, both Kilauea and Mauna Loa are showing signs of unrest. But we're following the active and erupting. So we have one and two here with Popo Piquetito. And then down into Guatemala with Santiaguito, Fuego, and Pacaya. Active eruptions there, Fuego recently. Recon del Veja, and as well, Messiah Volcano, Guatemala, Talica, showing signs of unrest. And it's interesting here, looking through the subduction zone, the Caribbean, all four showing signs of unrest there. Down into Colombia here, in Nevadas de Ruiz, Reventador. And as well, Sangay. Many earthquakes throughout Peru recently, so active volcanoes through the region. Seven Kaya showing lots of signs of activity as well. Nevadas de Chilean. And as well, Villarica. Over to Africa, where we still have the active near Marigera and Nira Marigongo, or Niragongo. And notable here, Pinton de la Forne is taken off of the active list, just showing signs of unrest. Ert de Ale, still active and erupting. A collapsed crater here with Mount Etna, Apparently, one person has perished with the eruption over the last couple, well, the last 48 hours with one of the eruptions. Thoughts of prayers going out to everybody there. There are forest fires in the region. We also have Stromboli. Over into North Sumatra here with Sinabung. And 
event as well. Krakatoa, Minor Activity and Eruption Warning, Merapi, Simaru, Luatolo, and as well awakened this week, Sarung Volcano, Phreatic Explosion, reported on July 22nd. Indonesia here with Dokono and as well Ibu. Tal Volcano continued unrest and activity through the region. Sakura Jima, Swiss and Ajima. Many volcanoes showing signs of unrest through there as well. Nishinashima. Ebiko Volcano here, Kamchatka, and as well Karamiski and Shovelich Volcano, and now Bezimieni showing signs of unrest. Notable here through the Aleutian Islands, Bezimieni, uh, the Great Sitkin showing activity, and as well three others showing signs, Sesmet Pochnoi, Cleveland Volcano, and Pavlov. Kadavar Volcano through Papua New Guinea, and as well Manam, Langila, Uluwan as well has awakened this week, Uluwan Volcano in Papua New Guinea, and Bagana, Yasser Volcano, and a couple of notables here showing signs of unrest, and as well the White Volcano in New Zealand showing signs of unrest, and last but not least the mighty Erubus and the Michael Volcano is also showing signs of unrest. So across the planet, we have an active and erupting 43. And we have many showing signs of unrest, at least two dozen across the planet showing signs of unrest. So heads up, we could see this number really increase, especially with our planetary positioning. Also erupting is Fegratus Folly. And showing signs of unrest here is... Another volcano on the north part of the island. And heads up, we could have some more eruptions come into Iceland. A lot of earthquakes here south of the island through the Rick Janes Ridge. 5.1 being the largest. And that is all of the volcanoes according to Volcano Discovery. I also like to cross-reference the data with the Smithsonian Volcano activity report here, 43, they are saying. The full list is on their website. And that is as of July 21st. So, as I said, discrepancies in the number merely based on dates that the data was collected. But still, I am expecting an uptick. And I'm expecting these numbers to increase. Now we always go to Null Skull here and look at the sulfur emissions across the planet. Cross-reference this whole thing with the volcanic activity report. Look at carbon there. But this is sulfur for today across the planet. And you can see that strong dark region in southern BC, Washington border, and as well, lots of pretty bad air quality through southeastern United States. Regular regions here seeing increased sulfur emissions, but man, what is going on in Siberia right now? Massive fires are breaking out, and it's showing more than just carbon showing a lot of sulfur coming from the region. And as well through the fires in B southern BC. I do believe that there's a lot of pressure being released through the Juan de Fuca up into the British Columbia Mountains right now. And I think that's where these fires are starting from. Let's have a quick look at windy.com showing the sulfur emissions forecast for the next three days. Across the planet, you can see a lot of activity and particulates through North America and as well the Mediterranean eastward. A 
Iceland volcano seems to have stopped erupting again after a large eruption last week. Just looking across the planet right now. Sulfur. And we're going to go back to windy.com after this. Or sorry, uh, nullschool.com. And show you the carbon emissions that are coming off of these fires through Russia. Intense and gross air quality across Alberta right now. So as we've seen many fires break out through Alaska and as well Northwest Territories, Southern BC over the last 48 hours. But look at Russia compared to what we're dealing with. That is an intense fire situation and quite possibly something, something more. So heads up, stay safe, my friends and family. Something is a brewing in Russia right now. Siberia is steaming or something. I don't know what's going on. How these fires are even starting. But looking here at the last few days over NASA Worldview, we've got a very intense situation developing across Russia and all of that is going to move eastward. So stay tuned to the Daily Do. I'll give you a full forecast tonight, update on space weather and everything else affecting humanity. Overlooking the world, NASA Worldview, August 1st, 2021. This was the Volcanic Activity Report, reporting 43 volcanoes across the planet. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye.